In the midst of the pubs and churches and noise of London, an attempt to find another world, Gandalf's Garden. It was started by hippies as a magazine about all things mystical and magic, but later spread to other enterprises. The name is taken from the wizard Gandalf, a character in Professor Tolkien's fairyland epic, The Lord of the Rings. In the shop here you can buy books, magazines and pottery, or eat bread and honey and drink cups of jasmine tea. But perhaps the special attraction for the young is that you can just sit around and talk or do nothing at all. There are no obligations. Well, I like coming here because there's such a spirit of communication between the people and it's so friendly and peaceful. And you just get away from the rush of everything. Well, I don't really like London all that much. It's too noisy, big. This is the only place I can really relax. I like the people here. Everybody's so friendly. And like she said, it's, you know, it's just peaceful. The magazine comes out whenever there is enough cash to pay for it, which isn't often. Its editor, Muzz Murray, is whimsically known as the head gardener. It was many things all came together, really. We didn't intend to start a magazine, but there was so little that it was of any value on the underground scene. There's so much pornography and aggression being uh, pushed around, and there was nothing with any positive direction. And we kept, a group of us kept meeting uh, many people who'd been disorientated by uh, taking various drugs and they weren't sure whether they were living in one world or the other. And they ne just needed someone to point a finger and say, here's a direction. What are your own beliefs? We believe that everyone is the teacher. We, we work on the concept of the universal guru, that is, Everyone and everything with which you come into contact uh, has something uh, to tell you. And instead of just listening to one teacher alone, every single thing that you do in your daily life and every reaction you have against other people, you should be able to step back and observe it and grow from that. And so then, then you're open to totally everything that's happening in the universe. How did, how did Gandalf's Garden spread from the magazine? <clears throat> well, we began to uh, hold meetings here at the shop. Uh, we had some of the leading gurus and researchers into everything from psychic phenomena, flying saucers, to the Holy Grail. And we, get, we began to get audiences uh, that were getting an all-round appreciation of every aspect of existence and from that we've developed into other things such as yoga classes and um, going out and talking to people in different parts of the country. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. The Friday evening meetings are often packed. They chant Indian mantras, do group meditation and listen to talks about anything from fairies to factory farming. No single spiritual tradition is followed. The medium, it seems, is the message. The hippie movement is international, totally free. A Canadian girl just dropped in and stayed on to give classes in yoga. Five. Six. Seven. Logic and reason tend to be abandoned here as tools for seeking the truth in favor of feeling and vague experiment. Muzz Murray would like to turn the world on to what he sees as a more beautiful world within. How can you expect a caterpillar crawling around his cabbage world to conceive in his cabbage-fed mind that one day he's going to turn into a butterfly? 
Are you trying to build an alternative society or work within the one that we've already got? Well, we're not trying to build an alternative society. We already are the alternative. Do you do any work here or do you just sit around all day? Do we do any work? We work 25 hours a day. I tell you, we work far more than we ever would in an ordinary straight job. Everybody has far more than they can possibly cope with. There are seven of us uh, doing the work that we need 25 staff to do. The mail is colossal and everything else. Gandalf's garden is a focal point on the underground scene. What do you think it is about the garden which is so special? What do people get from coming here? I think a sort of love, really. That's the basic thing. And, and honesty. I mean, we don't want, we're not trying to fool anybody. We're not trying to uh, uh, aggrandize ourselves. It's, it's just that you know, we want to help people to understand what is going on in their lives and, and by being alive and from as many aspects as we can give it so we will and the fact that we are learning with them and from them and they from us and we're not trying to lay our trip on them as it were.